Hey everyone, Sammy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can stream your PC games using a compatible NVIDIA GTX card and a Android device. So basically to an Android device such as a phone or a tablet. Now you will need as a pre-request the latest drivers for your NVIDIA GTX card and the latest GeForce Experience updates. So once you've done that, you will need to head over to the Shield section of the NVIDIA GeForce Experience and sort of just kind of going through basically the system requirements. Now, what you will need to do is make sure that you have a, a, a compatible GTX uh, GPU. This can be in the mobile variation, uh, sort of laptop variation as well. Uh, you will also need four gigs of RAM or higher and Windows 7 or Windows 8. But the main important thing about this is that you need to make sure that you have either a wireless AC router or a wireless N router, which is going to allow you to stream these games uh, to your devices. So over on this section here, we can choose whether or not to uh, add other games. We can also choose to stream over the internet or stream just locally, which is kind of cool as well. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to pair up the device to our Android. This is just a Samsung S4. So what you'll need to do is head over to the Play Store and enter the Limelight. So go into Limelight and it's the first one there. And then we just want to install that like so. So basically just go through that. It's very ins easy installation. Now this also does work with the Xbox 360 controller using an OTG. OTG cable and the PS4 controller using wired, the both wired solutions. Um, but it does work and I'll show you guys that in a second. So right here, once we've opened the app, we need to pair it to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. We have a little code right there. And what we're gonna do now is basically just type that in. And so there we go. Now we can actually pair that to our computer. So this is all working through the network and now it is re refresh the list. So basically these are just some of the settings that you can change. So you can play audio on PC or you can play it directly through the, um, your mobile or Android device. You can also select the, uh, basically the target video bit rate and also the target resolution as well. So you've got some settings there. And so this is the OTG cable. You can find a link in the description. It's just an eBay item, very cheap, about $2. And so then you can use a PS4 controller as we have right here. Again, this does work with the Xbox 360 controller, wired controller as well. So now we're just gonna plug that into our Samsung S4. And now it is all working and we can actually start to use it. Now, just for this demo right here, I was actually showing the, uh, the Steam big picture mode, which is kind of cool because you can actually use your finger to control the screen and you can actually go through basically all of the, the functionality of Steam Big Picture. If you haven't used it before, it's pretty awesome. You can kind of go through all of the games. You can start games directly from Game Stream. And it's just going to give you a really nice experience. So right here, just going into Armor Free. Armor Free, I'm not too sure you would really want to be using controls with, uh, a controller with. But uh, it does work. I, I have used it on, on Armor Free and it does work. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, just going through some of the features here and we'll go back to, uh, basically the main menu. Now let's actually launch up some games. So what I've actually got, um, coming up in a second is, uh, what is it? It's grid two. So, uh, just to sort of show you guys some of the things that you can actually do, how, what games you can play. You want to obviously pick games that have controller support in big picture. It actually has little icon for the controllers controls that games that are actually supported by controllers so in this next part here now we actually have basically just four different games basically or three different games the the two on the on the right are basically the the same game so we've got at the top uh top left here we've got the uh, grand theft auto 4 just playing on an online game at the moment using the ps4 wired controller and uh, basically on the bottom, we've got Mirror's Edge. Uh, we've got Grid 2 also, all on max settings, by the way, guys. All max settings on the actual GPU itself. 
So everything is just basically being streamed to the device. But this is an awesome sort of thing that you can actually use. And um, assuming that you have a compatible GTX uh, and NVIDIA GTX uh, GPU, you should be able to do this. And especially also needing a, a good wireless uh, router as well. Uh, but once you've got that, those sort of all set up, you'll be able to get a really good experience out of this. I'm actually planning on probably buying like a uh, an actual Android tablet. The other thing that they're actually working on at the moment is also working on a an iOS version. So that's something that I'm looking forward to. Might even have to not even have to actually get an Android tablet just for this feature. But as you can see, this is sort of uh, just you know a little tutorial of how you can actually. Uh, use the NVIDIA game stream technology using a little piece of, uh, you know, piece of software or app uh, called Limelight. It's really awesome. You guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave some love and leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this, unboxings and more videos. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.